Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. We're back with a chilly part three. Here are the top 10 unsettling things recently found frozen in ice. Number 10, abandoned whiskey. All right, here we go. Part one and two of this list was pretty dark. So we'll kick this part three off with 10 year old McKinley whiskey. An explorer found the crates in the hut of Ernest Shackleton. Inside were these frozen bottles of scotch all the way from 1907. This may be the best discovery on this list, but it's been locked up, of course, obviously such a historical find but you'll be happy to know a sample was given to scottish distiller white and mckay yeah they're currently studying this recipe to try and bring it back to life imagine seeing ernest shackleton's whiskey in stores on shelves i'd be like oh what okay debit number nine surgical notebook Whenever explorers find notebooks, I'm so interested right off the bat. Maybe I've played too much Zelda, I don't know, but notebooks feel very national treasure to me when you find them. This notebook here once belonged to a surgeon, believe it or not. It's over 100 years old and it was found in a frozen hut in Antarctica and the owner was George Levick. He was a photographer and of course a surgeon who traveled with the last expedition of Robert Scott. This expedition was from 1910 to 1913. Now the book itself was completely frozen and the bindings were completely toast, but the parts that they can read today is pretty historical. You can still read descriptions of photos that George took at Cape Adair. Like his first observation, all those notes that he took down, we can still read those, so it's amazing. Imagine in 100 years you find a notebook and it's just a bunch of like crazy S's that we used to draw back in school, like those pointy, like one of these, hang on. This is Disney Channel, the guy would be like, he nailed it, that was perfect. Number eight, the Glacier Girl. Before you get worried, this next one is a plane, not a woman. I got you back. A P-23 aircraft was discovered in Greenland surrounded in ice. Now this was during World War II in July 1946, when six P-38 fighter planes were ordered to make an emergency landing in Greenland due to, you know, lousy weather conditions and of course, low visibility. The crew was saved, but the lockhead had to be abandoned, sadly. Never to be seen again for 50 years. It was then dug out of 264 feet of snow and ice, and it took years to finally get this plane back in action. She's known as the Glacier Girl and in 2007, Lewis Energy CEO, Rodney Lewis, bought the plane. Number seven, million year old plant. Back in 2019 in, of course, Greenland, a preserved fossil of a million year old plant was discovered. We love it. This was under the ice near a secret Cold War military camp. Yeah, an ancient flower found at a Cold War military camp. What a headline that would be. In 1959, Project Iceworm was underway. Now, I mentioned that project on this channel here before, and that in itself is a pretty bizarre frozen adventure in history, okay? Eventually, the project was scrapped and it was abandoned. Now, cut to 2019, it was rediscovered, and scientists at the University of Vermont found parts of a million-year-old flower. Not what you'd expect to find under a secret Cold War base, you know? He's like, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's kind of nice. The fragments were all so well-preserved that it looked like the flower had died recently. Not, you know, a million years ago. Setting these plants can also provide clues on our future and where our current plants might end up. Number six. Three Inca Mummies. Discovered by John Reinhardt on March 16, 1999, near the summit of La Lilico, so around 7,000 meters up in the sky. This is near Argentina and Chile borders. This is far away. Further studies found that they were most likely sacrificed all in the name of a religious Inca ritual around the year 1500. Yeah, so quite a while ago. They were found in a small opening less than two meters deep under the ground, so again, this discovery was shocking. They looked like they were just asleep, but in reality, they died sometime around the 1500s. They're some of the most well-preserved mummies in the world. They now rest at an exhibition at the Museum of High Altitude Archaeology in Salta, Argentina. So specific, Museum of High Altitude Archaeology. Number five, Allen Hill's Meteorite. Okay, this next one is literally out of this world, so buckle up. Back in December 1984, American meteor hunters discovered this fragment in Allen Hills, Antarctica. The meteor was appropriately named Allen Hills 84001, and this rock was speculated to come from Mars. And in 1996, a scientist claimed that he discovered bacteria from the microscopic fossils on the meteorite. Now this news of course spread very quickly and everybody started losing their goddamn minds. Bill Clinton even chimed in. He made a speech about possible discoveries in space, right? Everyone's freaking out. Could this be aliens? Yeah. Yeah, the scientific community later said this was not the case after further studies, but hey, never say never. Feels like we're closer to finding life with James Webb right now, honestly. I'm, I'm afraid to hit refresh. It's like, here's 700 galaxies. You don't matter. I'm like, thanks, James. We love it. Keep snapping those pics. 
Number four, Atsi the Iceman. Discovered in September 1991, this mummy was found on the border of Austria and Italy. He's Europe's oldest known natural mummy. Most of the 45 year old man from the Copper Age was left in rather great condition, surprisingly. A 5,000 year old man was found in ice, so I hate to say this, but you lose this round, Captain America. I see you in the comments. I'm sorry, I had to I had to get you out of here one day. Before he passed away in the Italian Alps, Otzi had a number of health problems. He had arthritis, Lyme disease, he was lactose intolerant, which is just horrible. Thanks to science, we now know that Otzi, the Iceman, was sharpening his tools right before his untimely death. So he fought until the end. Number three, three kittens. Don't worry, they are all okay. Spoiler alert, I had to throw that in because you know, I care about you. Back in 2020, an oil worker named Drayton Dewish found three kittens all frozen to the ground near Drayton Valley. Now it was mid January, everything is frozen. This was near an oil well that he'd been working at. On Facebook, they posted about how the three kittens were all males and they were all dewormed and now they were all living under the same roof, much warmer with a happy family. So happy ending, there we go. He got them out of the ice by using coffee to melt the ice. How amazing is that? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Coffee saves lives. That's it, double doubles. Ooh, every morning. I was frozen outside before, and then I was dethawed myself with a nice French vanilla. Number two, message in a frozen bottle. Okay, here we go. Now that song, message in a bottle, is gonna be stuck in everyone's head watching this. Best song from Guitar Hero 2, hands down. That and Surrender by Cheap Trick. What a time, right? So fun. Anyways, back in 1959, back on track, a geologist named Paul Walker, great name, buried a message in a bottle. He wanted to make a lasting statement about climate change, so he put this frozen message underneath rocks near a glacier in 1959. And then cut to 2013, what do we find? Said, message in a bottle. The message inside was to measure the length from that point to the edge of a glacier, but by 2013, said glacier had shrunk down 200 feet. So the scientist really did show us. He was like, eh, hey, trust me, in 50 years, I'm gonna get you with this. Imagine he put the wrong note in. They open it up, it just says milk, eggs, bread. Is this a grocery list? This is definitely a grocery list. God damn it. Number one, Ice Age art. Ancient artwork, this time from the Colombian Amazon. Thing is, unlike other drawings found in the ceilings of tombs, this canvas stretched about eight miles and it was all frozen, it was just a wasteland. This should have never been found. The paintings are even more impressive. They date back to 12,000 years ago. These were made near the end of the last ice age. Yeah, the end of the last ice age, we're doing doodles. Are you kidding me? I can't even go to the store if it's snowing out. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna order in, screw that. This guy's making art. Miles of art. These were found in 2017, but it was only last year where they went public with said findings. Those findings being paintings of elephants, massive sloths, horses from the Ice Age, snakes, birds, deer, etc. This is now one of the largest collections of rock art in South America. Yeah, is it pregnant women or the origins of the Ninja Turtles? Art, we don't know, couldn't tell you. Those were the top 10 things recently found in ice, part three. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. If you want a part four, I'm doing it. I'm going out and I'm finding one of myself. Hit that thumbs up. See ya.